feel the grounding from the feet. So we are used to the grounding, okay, walking on the legs. Now, for the next 60 minutes, we will try to use our hands as our feet. Okay, one comfortable breath in here, one comfortable breath exhale. When, when you are ready, next inhale, raise the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hinge from the hips, maybe palms together, bow forward. Knees can be soft if your hamstrings are tight, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, deeper and fold. Turn it, look to right, speech up. Don't have to lean back so much, just a gentle stretch. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale, move with your breath. Exhale, deeper and fold. Again, work to right, switch up, maybe lean back just a tiny bit more. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift, inhale, this time hold the breath, palms down, step the right leg back, drop the right knee down. Inhale, raise the arms up, no lunge, and Jimmyasana. Feel free to adjust your stance if you need to. Now from here, hold on to your opposite elbows. Inhale, raise the hips just a bit, okay, squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale, soften the hips. Now stay here, okay, inhale, just lift the elbows up, lengthen the sides of your body. Exhale, lean towards the right side, stretch the left side of the body. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, again, lean towards the right, right side. Inhale, come back to center. Again, lean towards the right side, stay here. Okay, think about pulling the right elbow towards the right side of the mat, okay. Create length all along the left side of the body for three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to center, raise the arms up, look up maybe, exhale, palms down, step back to your downward facing dog. Plank pose as you inhale, steady breath, lower the knees down, tabletop. Inhale, arch the spine, count here. Exhale, round the spine, cat. Inhale, arch, belly down, chest forward, chin up. Exhale, round in, press the floor away, she only. One more repetition. Inhale, arch, shoulders back. Exhale, round in. Next, inhale, neutral spine. Pop the hands one big step forward. Come into a half extended puppy. So your, back, your chest is not touching the mat. Come on your fingertips, look forward. If you tuck the tail a little bit, exhale, melt the chest and chin down. Don't have to touch the mat. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, melt the chest and chin down. Notice I'm not overly arching the back. Yeah, I tuck the tail in here. Exhale, go lower. This is a nice stretch from the shoulders. In here. Exhale, fold. One last. In here. Exhale, five. Now stay here. Try to look forward. Hide your ears between your biceps. Tighten the palms and lift all ten fingers up. So imagine you're pushing the wall in front of your waist. Stay there for five. Turn the elbows inwards. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the upper body, walk the hands back, tuck the toes downward facing down. Stay in your down dog, breathe. Next inhale, right knee to the nose. Step the right foot forward, left knee down, repeat. Soften the legs. Maintain the stance, hold onto the opposite elbows, maybe switch the crossing. Inhale, lift the elbows towards the ceiling. Exhale, lean left side. Move with your breath. Inhale, come back. Move slow. Exhale towards the left. One more. Inhale, center. Exhale towards the left and stay for five. Tuck the tail under. Firm the belly. Four. Feel the nice stretch all along the right side of the body. Three. Two. And what? Slowly inhale, come up, raise the arms up. Exhale, palm down, step forward, top of the mat. Halfway lift, exhale, even and fold. Next inhale, root to rise, reach up, maybe lean back even more. Exhale, fold all the way down, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Hold the breath, palms down, left leg back, left knee down. Inhale, raise the arms up. Lift the hips. Exhale, twist towards the left side, open twist. Flip the right palm, exhale, reverse warrior. Left hand touch out any part along the left thigh, okay? Calf, heel maybe, right arm over the head. Stay here. Now start to draw a circle with your right arm. Whichever direction you start with, three times. Okay, so you want to do an internal rotation to the external. And then 
you switch the direction. Two, stretch the shoulders, and what? Right fingertips point back, maybe look back, stand the hips down a little bit more for three, two, and one. Inhale, come back up. Come with the palms down, step back, downward facing down. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees down, tabletop. Again, cow tail as you inhale. Smooth as you exhale, cat spine, round the back. Two more repetitions. Inhale, cow tail. Make it smoother every time you do this. Exhale, round the back. One last. Inhale, cow tail. Exhale, round the back. Now stay here, the cat spine. Press the palms down strongly. Tuck the toes. Cover the knees one inch off the mat. Not too high, okay? Keep the knees slightly off the mat. We'll do. Now from here, bend the elbows halfway. Inhale, straighten the elbow. Knees are still off. Exhale, bend it. Hug the elbows inwards. Inhale. Exhale. This is the last one. We hold for three. Think about pushing the knees towards the elbows. Elbows towards the knee. Feel the shoulder blades broadening for two. And one. Lift up strongly. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Stay there. Nice. Next inhale. Left leg up. Knee to the nose. Hold it there. Step it forward. Right knee down. Arms up. Low lunge. Inhale, the left leg hips. Exhale, twist, right side. Take the left palm, reverse your lunge. Stay here. Again, draw circle with the arm three times in each direction. Two, three. Big circles, reverse. One, two, and three. Last one, we hold, send the hips a little bit more. Feel the right hip flexor stretching. Point the left fingertips back. Next inhale, come back up. Come with the palms down, step forward, top of the mat. Halfway the inhale. Exhale, deeper than four. Next inhale, to right, switch up. Lean back. Exhale, palms to heart, namaste. Stay for a while, reset, arms alongside the body, Tadasana, mountain. Inhale. Exhale, one. You lose your ujjayi breath, find it back. Inhale. Exhale two. One more. Inhale. And exhale really. Let's go. Raise the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift hands on the shin. Hold the breath, palm down, right leg back, right knee down. Raise the arms up. Inhale, low lunge. Lift the hips up. Exhale, twist towards the left side. Revolve your twist. Inhale, lean forward. One breath. Flip the right palm. Exhale. Revolve lunge. Lean back. Again, left hand can support your lower back or anywhere you can reach along the right thigh. Hug the right toes. Okay, now from here, a little bit of balancing. Think about hugging the inner thighs in as you straighten the right knee. Inhale, we bend the knee. Feel the quad stretch. Exhale, balance a little bit. Straighten the right knee. Drag the left hip back. One more. Inhale. Exhale, straighten. Stay here. Feel the nice stretch all along the right side of the body. If you have the balance, maybe flex the left foot. Toes towards the ceiling for three. A little smile on your face for two. And what? Slowly re bend the knee, help with the palms down, step back, downward facing dog. Plank pose as you inhale. Knees down as you exhale. Inhale, cow tilt. Exhale, cat spine. Inhale, cow tail, smooth, shoulders to the hips. Exhale, round it in, really press and low it. One last, inhale, cow tail. Stay here, tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the hips, downward facing up. Repeat the movement, inhale, plank. Exhale, lower the knees, hover the knees one inch off the mat. Inhale, arch the spine, look up. Exhale, wave back to downward facing up. Two more repetitions. Inhale, plank. Move with your breath. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, arch. Exhale, downward facing down. One last. Inhale, plank. Broaden the shoulder blades. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, arch the spine and wave back to your downward facing dog. Stay in your down dog. Breathe. Next, inhale, right knee up. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Step forward, left knee down. Inhale, arms up, low lunge. Lift the hips, twist towards the right side this time. 
Exhale, revolve the twist, right hand down, left arm over the hip. Balance first, tuck the left toes. When you're ready, inhale, straighten the knee. Front knee, exhale, rebend the knee, stretch. Two more, inhale, straighten, find the balance. Exhale, rebend the knee. One last, inhale, straighten. And stay here, maybe, or flex the right foot. Okay, challenge your balance for three, for two, and what? Slowly rebend the knee, cut with the palms down, step forward, top of the mat. Halfway to left, inhale, exhale, deeper than four. Next, inhale, good to rise, stand up. Maybe hook the thumbs, pull the arms back behind the ears, full stretch on the front body. Exhale, bow forward, palms together. Halfway to left, inhale. Hold the breath, palms down, left leg back. Now we combine everything with the left knee down. One breath, one movement, inhale. Exhale, left hand down, right arm over the hip side stretch. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, twist, left side, left hand down, right arm over the hip. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, twist, right side, right hand down, left arm over the hip. Nice, inhale, come back up. Exhale, straighten the right knee, flex the right foot, sweep the arms back, half splits. Repeat this movement, inhale, rebound the knee, walk with your breath. Exhale, straighten the front knee, flex the foot. Inhale, rebound the knee. Soften the hips, exhale, lift the hips, straighten the right foot. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One last, inhale. Sit the arms back even more. Exhale, stay in your half splits. Anything you want to do with your hands, you can fly the arms back. You can interlace your fingers and stretch your shoulders. Or you can simply just place the palms down, walk the hands forward. Focus on dragging the right heel back. Stay there for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly palms down, we bend the front knee. And you are going to step back to your downward facing dog. Plank pose as you inhale. Stay in the plank pose. Continue to breathe. Catch your breath. Now what we are going to do next is the shoulders push up. So from here, think about you want to collapse the shoulders down. Okay, so think about collapsing and pressing the chest down. Okay, dip the chest down. Retract your shoulder blades together. Exhale, push it back up. One. Down. Exhale up, two, down, exhale up, three, down, exhale up, four, down, exhale up, five. Stay there for five. Work the core, work the arms, four, three, two, and one. Listen carefully, you're going to lower all the way down in five counts. Five. Bend the elbows, four, three, not holding this time to and all the way down. Chest, belly down on the mat. Palms inside your chest, tuck the toes. Walk the knees forward to your knees, chest in. Stay here, inhale. Exhale, one. Just two more breaths here. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, two. One last, inhale. And exhale. Next, inhale, untuck the toes. Slide forward like caterpillar to your cobra pose. Maybe lift up a little bit higher. Tuck the toes, downward facing up. One breath in, full breath up. Next inhale, left leg up. Left knee to the nose. Step it forward and right knee down. If I'm too fast, follow your own pace. Inhale, raise the arms up. Okay, exhale, right hand down, left arm over the hip. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, twist, right side, flip the left palm, right hand down, left arm, over the hip, one breath, one movement. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, twist, left side, flip the right palm, left hand down, right arm, over the hip. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lift the hip, straighten the left knee, flex the foot, sweep the arms back, half splits. Inhale, formal repetition, sweep the arms up. Exhale, straighten the left knee. Three more, inhale. Slow down a little if you want to. Exhale, straighten. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, straighten. 
stretch your hamstrings. One last inhale. And exhale. This time we're gonna hold it there. Take any arm variation. Try to do the same thing you did just now. Okay? Maybe walk the hands forward. Hold that for five. Hi Sharon. Four. Three. Two. And what? We bend the left knee. Step forward. Top of the neck. Half winded. Hands on the shins. Exhale. Deeper than four. Next inhale. Go to right. Switch your hands up. Lean back. Exhale, palm to heart center and namaste. Mountain pose, release the arms alongside your body, close your eyes. Inhale, rest. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Alright, I hope the pace is okay for you. Inhale. Exhale, three. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, four. One last. Inhale. And exhale, gently open your eyes with a smile on your face. My favorite pose, chair pose. Try to have the feet together. Okay, chair pose, not a high chair, a low chair. Try to sit the hips down, stand the hips back. How to check? Make sure you can see your toes when you look down. If you can't, you've got to shift it back. By stepping to the ears, if you are really tired, your arms are tired, bring your hands. Okay, stay here. Now, as you inhale, lift the heels up, come on your tippy toes. We're gonna go to Navasana, okay? Boat pose. In five. Shift the hips down. In four. Squeeze the knees towards your chest. In three. In two. And what? Navasana, sit down. Use your hands to support, okay? By bringing the knees towards your chest if you need to. Stay here, okay? If you're really tired, this is also challenging, okay? Maybe no hands. Okay? If you want to do it with me, 10, okay? low to high. When you're ready, inhale, lower down. Exhale, up, one. Down, and up, two. Steady, up, and up, three. Down, and up, four. Down, and up, five. Down, and up, six. Work the core. Down, and up, seven. Down, and up, eight. Down and up nine. Last one. Down and up ten. No hands if you can. Step the feet down. Open the knees is easier. Back to chair pose. Inhale, straighten the knees. Lean back. Exhale, all the way down. Halfway lift. Look forward. Hold the breath. Palms down. Step the right leg back. Left leg back to plank. Exhale, you're chucking around the on knees, chest, chin. I'm going to take this chair shape. <laughs> Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing down. Now you're going to stay in down dog. Continue to breathe. Listen to my voice cue. Okay, you're going to practice what I call it a momentum to rock forward. Okay, you work the quads as well. So feet together, lift the heels. Bend the knees. Valley towards your thighs. Look forward. Lean forward to plank. Exhale, bend the knees lower the hips. Look forward, inhale, lean forward to plank. It's like a powerful movement. Exhale down. One more, inhale, lean forward to plank. Exhale, back to this position. Now keep the knees close, keep the thigh close towards your belly. Walk the hand back. Okay, so you're at the back of your mat in the squatting position, the heels up. We're gonna crawl our way forward, okay? So you don't have crow in your practice, you just want to practice your crow. Take a block, okay, place it in front of your forehead, your face for support. And just stay there, okay, until we are done, okay. Just practice. If you already have a steady crow, you can do with me. Palm down, knees towards the tricep. Float your crow for five. Try to shift the weight forward, use your fingertips. Three, two, and one. So you're one step forward in the original position. Arms forward. Okay, again, lift the heels. Knees tuck towards the tricep. Lean forward. This time, maybe play around with toe tap. Right foot. Okay, right toes towards the right wrist. Left heel high for three, two, and one. And come down. One step forward. Lean forward. Switch. Okay, maybe left toes to the left wrist. Right heel to the back for three, two, and one, and come down. This is the last one. Okay, we're gonna run in the crow pose. Arms down, we try our best. Okay, don't have to do everything I say. Lean forward.
forward. Squeeze the belly in. Keep the hips high. Flex the toes and tap. Right, left, right, left for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Let's shake out the wrist a little bit, okay? Parallel her stasana. Turn the palm down, okay? Toes all the way towards your wrist. Think about massaging your wrist. Inhale, look up halfway. Maybe bend the knees if you need to. Elbow to the side. Pull the hands up. Imagine you can peel the palms away from the mat. Stretch out the wrist. Hold that for 10. 9. 8. Go back later, yeah? 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Slowly release the hands. Okay, halfway lift. We're going to hop back if you can. If not, step back. Hold the breath, palm down, lift the heels up, step or hop back to the chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay in the down dog, breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Downward facing dog, feet together, heels up high, kick the right leg up towards the ceiling. Go ahead, split your downward facing dog. Point the toes all the way towards the ceiling. Think about straightening the right knee, okay? It's okay to open the hips, okay? But not too much. Exhale, knee to the nose, round the spine. Inhale, kick back up. This time, bend the knee, open the hips. Okay, stay the knee bending or kick the leg towards the left side. Stretch the right hip flexors. Exhale, knee to the nose. One more. Inhale, kick. Bend the knee open, stretch the quads, stretch the pelvis. Now keep the leg at the top, okay? Straighten the right knee, flex the toes, swing it towards the right side. And hold that for five, okay? Your feet in line with your hips. Four, three, left heel high, two, and one, we'll swing it back. Lift up, exhale, knee to the nose. Okay, hold it there and step it forward. Left hand down, right hand reach up, easy twist. In here, exhale, open heart towards the ceiling, stretch. Nice. We're going to prepare for side plank. Right hand back up, spin the left heel down. If you can, okay, go into a full side plank. Okay, if not, step the right foot in front of your left knee. This is a supported side plank. If you're going to a full side plank, slowly raise the right foot and kick the right leg towards the ceiling. Like a five star pose for five, four, three, two, and well, wherever you are, even if you're in the supported, let's drop the right foot behind the left knee, flip over, okay, for a while. Thing stretch the belly for three, for two, and when we'll gather the strength, left hand super strong, left hip high, raise the right leg back up. Lower the right hand down, right knee to the left elbow, cross it over. Okay, stay here or kick and step the right foot outside the mat on the left side. Spin the right foot, uh, left foot down, left arm over the hip rock star pose. Stretch for three, for two, and what? Slowly re bend the knee, right leg swing it back up, slop it here. Now kick the right leg towards the right side, like what we did just now. In the count of five, land the right foot outside the little finger. In five, four, do it slowly. Three, feel the control over your posture. Two, and one, step the right foot outside the little finger. Lizard lunge. lunge. Okay? See how I'm adjusting my back foot? So I want to think about tearing the yoga mat apart. Okay? Wiggle the left toes back. Palms down, okay, do a little bit of bouncing up and down. Stretch the quads, it flexes, maybe side to side. Maybe forward and back. So we're going to go into flying lizard, okay. Try your best. Now from here, you can lower the left knee down if you need to. Lower the body down, use your right hand, okay. Pull, lower the body behind the right calf. Okay, tuck the right shoulder underneath the right calf. See how I'm rolling the calf towards my face? 
so that I can really get a nice tuck okay, on top of my right shoulder. Arms are done. Okay, so lift your right heel. Okay, lean forward, bend the elbows a little bit like Chaturanga. Wiggle the left toes back, lift the left knee. Okay, get your right tricep. Lean forward enough okay, to slide the left foot off the mat. Slide is a post, stay. Or if you want to transit, again, you can swing the left leg and kick it towards the side for three, two, and one. Slowly release from your flying lizard. Step the right foot back down. Okay. Turn both feet towards the left side. Press your rita. Wide legged forward fold. Stay here. Catch your breath. Okay. Now, you have the option to go into a inversion from here. You can do a tripod straddle up. Okay, if you want to just chill here, please feel free. Okay, so if you want to do a straddle tripod, palms underneath the shoulders, bend the elbows like Chaturanga, lower the crown of the head down. Make sure you can see your fingers. If you can't see your fingers, please move the fingers back. Okay, think about shifting the weight forward. Okay, come on the tippy toes. Maybe lean forward enough, the hips stack on top of your shoulders, firm the fingers down, okay, firm the shoulders, and slowly float the legs up. Maybe stay, maybe zip up the legs. Hold it there. For five. Try. Four. Maybe it's your first time, okay? Try your best. You don't have to fold up, just find the feeling. Two. And slowly release, back down to Prasarita. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to turn towards the left side. Fold the hands towards the left side. Come down, step back down, facing down. Plank as you inhale. Feel free to skip this in your side and go back to down dog. Or knee stretching or chapter one. Cobra pose or up dog. Downward facing dog. Catch your breath in down dog. Inhale. Exhale one. Are you guys doing? In here. Exhale two. In here. Exhale three. We're gonna repeat all the other side. Yeah? In here. Exhale four. In here. And exhale. Very nice. Now you should be facing the back of the mat. So I'm just facing this side so it's easier for y'all to see. Okay. Left leg up. Go ahead and stick your downward facing dog, okay? Point the left toes towards the ceiling. See, I'm not bending the knee yet. I want to kick and shoot my left leg towards the ceiling. Straighten the back of the left knee. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, kick back. This time, you bend the knee. Stretch the quads, stretch the pelvis, the belly. Go ahead and do a little twist. No pain in the lower back. Exhale, knee to the nose. One more. Inhale, kick back, bend. Okay, now try your best. If you can, straighten the left knee, point it towards the right side. And slowly swing towards the left side, flex the foot. Okay, try to align the heel with your own hip. For three, two, and one. Inhale, swing it back up, kick up higher. Exhale, knee to the nose. Step it forward. Right hand down, left hand up. Easy twist first. Inhale. Exhale, spin the heart towards the ceiling, stretch the shoulders. Be careful of the right shoulder, pull it back. Okay, inhale, come back to center, be careful of side back. Either do the supported version or kick up into your five star pose, your choice for five. Supported version, just stay here, focus on lifting the right hip up. Four, three, two, and what? Ball leg, step back. Okay, then softly. Rainbow the hips up, left arm over the hip, hold that for five. Full stretch for the front body, four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly, left hand to heart center first maybe, or if you need more support, left hand down. Swing the left foot slowly, slowly towards the outside the little finger, there's a lunge. Okay, go ahead. Forward and back, side to side. Maybe up and down. Just stretch it out first. And once you are ready, flying lizard. Okay. Feel free to lower the left knee down. Huh? So again, roll the top towards your face. Get a nice tuck. Okay. So think about shoulder pressing against the calf. Your 
your shoulder press against the calf, half press against the shoulder. Stay here, half down, okay? Lift the right knee, lean forward enough. Wiggle the right toes back, shift the weight forward. Get the left leg towards the left tricep and fly the right leg up. Maybe stay, maybe. Oh, this side is tougher for me. Right knee to the right elbow, kick towards the right side for three, for two. And one, slowly release back. And turn the toes towards the side, cross the rhythm. The left side. Okay, same thing. You can stay here to rest. Okay, in a forward fold. Or you want to go into a middle space. Okay, also can. If you want to do an uh, inversion, maybe this time you can do a headstand. Okay, so I think I taught a uh, headstand entrance with the straight arm. You can do that as well. So we're gonna stance wide enough, okay? Thread the arms, palms facing down, below your body, head is down, okay? And from here, you can straddle the legs up, okay? Be careful. If there's no wall, don't fall, okay? Hold that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Steady breath, steady posture, 5. Four, three, two, and slowly if you're up, make your way back down. Join us in the white legged forward fold. Stay here, catch your breath. Now from here, walk towards the front of the mat. Okay? And you're gonna step back, downward facing dog. Go through a flow, go through the options of skip it. If you need a rest, go to your child's pose. Especially if you've done inversion, maybe you're really tired. Okay, honor your own practice and your body. I'll meet you back in downward facing dog. Nice. Once you're in down dog, let's have the feet met with the center apart. Turn the toes up. Okay. So half of the front of the foot is uh, at the uh, at stepping on the floor. Okay. The heel is inside the mat. And now you're gonna walk the hands back, the last one. Okay, stay here. We go side to side, side to side. So we're gonna press the palm down and do a malasana hop. Okay, you don't even have to hop very high. So we're gonna hop the way forward. If you don't prefer to do all this and you just want to chill in malasana, feel free and take that option. Okay, I'm gonna hop forward. If you want to, you can join me. So palm down, feet is wide. Lift the heels up. And hop forward just like that. Palms down, think about shoulders on top of the wrist, stack it and hop forward, then lightly. Palms down and hop forward. If you are really advanced and you want to hop up into a handstand, you can clap your feet. Okay, we're gonna hop back. Palms down, lift the heels up and hop back. Palms down, lift the heels up, maybe clap the feet and hop back. Maybe find some hang time. Palms down, lift the hips and clap. Now you're at the back of your mat. And again, just for fun, yeah? Slowly straighten the knees. Again, let's stretch out the wrist. This time, the palms face down, fingers pointing in. Okay, you should be at the back of your mat. So fingers point in, step on the top of your hands. This will be a bit easier, okay? Bend the elbows towards your shins. Stretch the top of the wrist. Hold it there for five. Four, high clef. Three. Two and one slowly straighten the knees, bend the knees again, come into child's pose, rest for a while. Okay? You can rest the arms alongside your body or arms extend forward. If you want to stretch your shoulders, go ahead. A couple of more breaths, please step before we continue. Okay, in the next few series after practice. One more breath Now, in your child's pose, let's walk the hands forward. Okay, look forward. Keep your body as low as you can. You're gonna slide forward to a cobra pose. Slide forward. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing up. Nice. In your down up, lift the heels. Kick the right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right knee to the chest. Lower the shin down, knee and shin down. Exhale, pull it up. One. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, pull it up. Two. Feel the core. Inhale. Exhale, up. Three. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, up. Four. One last. Inhale. Exhale, pull it up. Stay there for five. 
Maybe you stay here to practice the momentum, practice weight shifting, shoulders on top of the wrist. Or you want to kick up, let me hop. Now hands then, maybe find some hand time. Few more times. Be here. And that's all. Step back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. So we're going to repeat the other side. And um, L, hop. Okay, the prep when we, did, when we do the half plane. Okay, even if you're not hopping, it's not tightly okay. This helps you to build muscle memory of the wrist. So notice how I lift the bottom heel up. Okay, use a bit more better. Now we switch. Left leg up. Knee to the chest. Lower the knees and chin down. Exhale, pull it up one. Down and up two. Down and up three. Down and up four. Last one, down and up five. Hold there for five, four, three, two. And step the foot just below the belly button. Right leg, kick up. So you can lift the left leg. Bend, find some momentum. If you have in front of you, please let's try it and step. L and step, maybe find a balance, use your fingers a few more times. Okay, try your best a few more times. Okay, and once you are tired of crying or you have found the hand side, and then the left foot back, go into a chaturanga with control. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Stay in the last part of the practice. Okay. Stay with me if you can. Nice. From here, lift the heels, bend the knees, and lower the knees down. Okay. So let's extend the legs forward and shift up the legs. I hope you are all okay. Okay. If you have any questions, you can please feel free to type in the comments, any suggestions, and um, I will look at it in a bit. Okay? Now from here, let's bend the right knee. And cradle the right shin. If you want to, okay, you can place the right ankle on top of the left knee. If not, okay, you can just hold on to your right shin like that. So hook the right foot against the left elbow crease. Right knee against the right elbow crease and start to cradle the baby. So keep opening. You want to open from the groin, okay? From inside, not just the knee. Try your best to pull it towards the back and not towards the side, okay? So not towards the side but more towards the back. A few more times. From there, maybe foot to the ear. Try, okay? So if you are, if you are there, you are practicing. Okay. Now we're gonna go into elephant trunk and then we're gonna practice. Flying ninja. So we're going to tap the right uh, calf right over the right shoulder. So same thing as what we did in flying lizard. You want to roll the calf towards your face. So notice how I'm doing it. Okay. So roll it towards the face. Lift it up. Hook it down. So you are in this shape. Calm down. Okay. Fly your elephant trunk today. Perfectly fine. Okay, just practice this posture. Pump down, lift the hips. Maybe you stay, maybe you lift the left foot. Okay, if you want to let me wrap it in front of into flying ninja. Hold it there for five. Point the toes, move the legs. Four, three, two, so this way. Okay, and slowly release. Check in the questions about this pose, please ask me. Okay, now we switch to the other side. So again, one side will feel different, so maybe this is your tighter side. Bend the left knee if you want to bend. If not, okay, no need the right knee. And think about cradling the baby, shift the hip back. I can't put the legs on my shoulder, so it's okay, okay? You don't have to put it all the way here. If you remember the flying lizard, I'm just gapping 
against the tricep. This is also fine. So you really need to get up enough. You can still lift. Okay. So shift the hips back. Okay. Lift the hips first. Then lift the front foot. Lean forward so that you can lift. Okay. You don't have to go all the way here. It can be here, but press it. Okay. Press it down. Okay. Let's try the other side. Okay. So I will do not. I will not tuck it over my shoulder. I will place it against the tricep. Okay. Get it tight. Palms down, lean forward, shift the hips back, lift the hip first. Okay, and we press the palm down, squeeze the right foot, and lift the knee, lift the foot, sorry. Okay, and maybe you can bend the right knee, wrap it in front of your left forearm into blind ninja. Same. Okay, so it's all about the inner thighs. Hold it there here in the blind ninja for five. Yeah, new tricks. Four. I hope you managed to do it, okay? Three. If you can't, please let me know again. Two. And slowly release. <sighs> Shake it up. Almost done, okay? Now, cross the shin. Arms forward. Hop back. Chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Rest for five. No more arm balance. Four. Three, two, and one. Look forward, slowly walk your way to plank pose. Maintain the plank pose. Squeeze the belly, your arms, your abs, your legs, everything should be very strong now after the practice. Okay? Nice. Now slowly, in the count of five, lower all the way down in five. Try to do a tricep, okay? Push up position. Not like that, okay? Try to hug the elbows in, point the elbows back as you lower all the way down. Now, adjust whatever that you need to adjust first. Maybe lift the belly a little bit forward, okay? Find the belly pressing against the mat. Now, from here, we're going to take Dhanurasana, bow pose. So, bend the knees. Don't have to go so deep, it's just to stretch the shoulders. One hand reach back, the other hand reach back. Okay, either you grab from the outside or if you want to feel more in the shoulders, you grab from the inside. Okay, next thing, tail kick up. And stay. So notice I'm not going to 100%. Don't have to do that. Okay, just allow the legs to do the work for you. Use the power from your legs to stretch the front body. I'm not using my hands at all, I'm not pulling. Okay, I'm just letting my legs do the work to open the front body. Hold it there. 10, 9, 8, hello, do you do? 5, 4, 3, now if you want to go 100%, go ahead. 2, kick up all the way. And slowly release, lie flat down. Now take the time, roll over, lie on the back. Relax the entire spine on the back. No need to press okay, the belly in. Just allow the natural arch to occur at the lower back. Now step the feet down. okay, And you're going to cross the right thigh over the chest. Count face. Okay? Hands grab onto your opposite ankles. If you want to hold the shin also, okay. Okay, up to you. So for me, I like to feel a little bit more. So I think about opening. Okay, my legs. So I want to create a horizontal line with my shin, so I pull it closer. Then you should feel your hamstrings. If you just want to make it more restorative and you want, maybe you have certain injuries here, you just hold it there. Think about pulling the legs closer towards you. Okay, stay for a while. So after the hip opening arm balance, now we want to always close back the hips. Do you manage to do it? Yeah? <laughs> Okay, now slowly release. Okay, if you want to do a twist from there, just nice, your legs are prepped for an eagle twist. So you're gonna twist towards the left. So drop the knees towards the left, look towards the right. Okay. So again, if you have any questions, please let me know. And let me know if the class is okay. Okay, if you manage to follow. Yeah, and if you want to see more of arm balance and inversion flow from me. <laughs>
So I'm teaching flow every Tuesday, like you know, holding the arm balance and inversion for every week. So if you are not agreeable to that, please let me know. Okay, then we will figure things out. If you have requests, also let us let the studio know, let me know. Okay. Now come back to center and switch left thigh over the right. Bring the thighs towards your body. So even if your lower back is a little bit off the mat, it doesn't matter. Okay, as long as you feel comfortable, okay, there's no pain anywhere in the back, then it works for you. Every posture will look different on every different type of body, so it doesn't have to be fixated on how it should it looks like in a textbook. Okay, so the most important is how you feel about it. Yeah. You want more? <laughs> okay, you may. <laughs> okay. So um, just a little bit longer and then you're gonna uh, drop the knees towards the right. Okay, look towards the left. So today, let's recap what we have practiced in class. We did um, crow pose, we did toe taps with crow, we did flying lizard and some variation if you manage to straighten the back leg forward. We did hands, uh, we did hit stand, um, or if you did tripod for the two rounds also, and we did some hand stands, L, you know, kick ups, and towards the end we did flying ninja. So if you manage to capture your practice today, post your flying ninja and let us see how it looks like. Okay. Okay. So um, if you have wrist injury, okay, um, you can be on your forearms. If it's really very painful, so for if you are still recovering, don't strain your wrist so much. Okay, be on your forearms. Um, everything we do can be on the forearms. Your lizard fly too fast. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I will do it again. Yeah. Um, and there are if you are almost recovering for your wrist. Okay, so try to put more weight on the finger pads. And the knuckles okay not too much here so you will need to shift forward enough to feel the weight going towards this area so not here so you don't want to injure your wrist joint okay and maybe I will teach I will break down the posture next time okay and, and teach more posture by posture I will see how it goes okay so if you are done with twisting knees to the chest give yourself a final hug maybe rock side to side side to side and prepare for your shavasana. Extend the legs forward, arms alongside of your body. If you have more questions, I have a little, we have a, still have a little bit of time. You can post your question here, and I will try to answer that. If you are going to enjoy your shavasana, feel free to mute me. Okay, yeah, and yeah, just enjoy it. Okay. Thank you! Our flying ninja was fun. Yeah! I thought it was fun too. It looks, it looks really good when you take the photo from the side. Yeah? Thank you! Thanks everybody! Thanks for the feedback. I'll try to also slow down a little bit. Okay? Maybe I'll do a slow arm balance inversion flow. Good idea! <laughs> okay, we'll see how it goes. Means I'll count slower. Okay? And you will hold longer. It builds endurance as well. Okay, so if you don't have any more questions, please tune in tomorrow for Melis. Okay, she is she is um teaching call tomorrow. Six uh, yes, <laughs> which is why. It's, okay, if you did the line on the mat, ninja, please show me. I wanna have a look. Okay, so tune in tomorrow. Melis call work hard. Okay. Fire up your call tomorrow. And oh yeah, we are also um, donation based classes. So if you want to support us and you want to donate any amount will do to us, go to our page, click on the link and there will be steps to show you how to do about the donation. Okay? Yeah. Okay, with that, thank you everyone. See you guys again. Bye.